Welcome back to the channel. This is Eco Kitten seventy seven seventy. Back with this mess that I've got myself into. Trying to flip over Endeavor. I've got a plan. Once I get Endeavor stabilized, I'm gonna try to build a crane to ride it. I just need to get it to the right height to get a mag plate onto the block stack I built. And to do that, it's gonna be a guesstimate estimate. Come on. It's sliding on the back blocks right now, but hopefully it'll be okay. I don't need this one anymore. If I could just target it. There. I don't mind if I grind that block a little bit. The what the the large block stack. I'll be I won't be needing it once the crane's built anyways. It's at the right height. So I should be able to just lock it on pretty easily. here and I'll... yeah it's almost locked I just have to extend it a little further this way I could get endeavor get the crane built without having to risk endeavor falling over it's gonna be the most complicated crane I've ever built so far in theory I know how it works but in actuality I've never built one so as complex as I'm planning so let me get all the bits that I can that is not a nice angle for endeavor my friend I'll get you on your wheels soon I hope from what I could tell I'm at least safe from convoys they don't seem to pass through the area I'm at several have been launched and arrived safely mostly because I'm on my back like a turtle don't want it to slide any further over as much as I could help. Is that a parachute in the background? It was. It's for an unknown signal. Hmm. I do need parts. The parachute has motors in it and tubes. The cargo container also has parts I can use. Yeah, let's go grab it. See what I get. <sighs> okay, so I'm with the bat around the bomb. Ain't gonna run. What will I receive? Leopard grinder. Alright, now that I got the parts from the unknown signal. I could focus on getting this crane built. So, how do I want to go about that? I've got the rotors. No, I don't have a rotor. I have piston, hinge, and mag plate so far on the hot bar. I need a rotor. And maybe a conveyor. If I want to pipe it. I don't know why I would need it piped, but I might find a reason why I needed it piped. So yeah, I'll pipe it. 
Um, junction. The small junction. Small hinge, small rotor. Do I want one or two pistons per extension? Let's see, one piston gets me what, two meters? Probably two pistons on each. Give me four meters to travel. I did not check to see what position I put that rotor in. I'll have to f find out later. Hopefully the zero is facing front. It'd be kind of awkward if it wasn't. <sighs> if the name to this episode isn't a uh, clue. I've I don't usually build cranes as complex as what I'm planning. Usually it's just a single rotor, hinge, piston, a hinge, and another piston with a mag plate. That's easy. This one is going to have so many more moving parts. And can I get some power, please? Oh, the vent's still on. I could probably turn that off. Oh well. I don't know if I notice it. All the things you notice in the edit, or you didn't notice in the recording. Yeah, apparently I left the vent on. The battery were... F I left the base with the batteries fully charged so I don't have to worry about power just yet and I have engines full of fuel for emergency power if need be though it's not a whole lot of fuel oh I should probably start naming these Do I really need to name them though? Unless I'm going to set them up on the hotbar, I don't really need to name them. I guess I'll name them. Mm, middle hinge, base hinge. Yeah, this one would be middle hinge. The base hinge would be down at the bottom. Do I want middle hinge crane or just middle hinge? I'll add the crane part. Just to make it clear. Not that there's any other hinges on this vehicle. So many convoys that I can't go after right now. Oh, I wouldn't be able to even defend myself other than the rifle I have because I don't have turrets right now. I, pl I have a feeling that would end very poorly for me. A Gatling gun versus a marksman rifle. I am not going for that other unknown signal. It is too far away. <sighs> oh, what kind of braking torque do I need? That's something I don't have usually plan on. I should probably do something more than zero at the very least. Once it's built, I'll worry about that. I don't want to lose the progress I've made. Yep. Okay, I'm probably have to make some more steel tubes. 
I knew I was running low. Yep. Oh, uh, it's on disassemble. <laughs> now that'll work. Almost got it set up. Just gotta do the foot. Why does it need four when I only need two? Weird. I probably didn't clear something in the uh, tab. Now I need another hinge and then a rotor and conveyor and mag plate and that should give me all the directions of movement I need Ugh. I really hate seeing the wheels pointing at the sky and as long as endeavors flipped over I'm stuck I need so many parts. Hopefully. Well, I don't know if I'll get it flipped over in this episode. I'll try. Hold on. Did I stuff something up on that crane? Yes, I did. Why do I need to spin? No, I don't think I messed up. Because I could spin on the foot. I will put a bit of bigger mag plate, though. The large one. Gives me a little extra reach. And a wider uh, surface I could lock to. Inertia, getting some braking torque and the inertia tensor set up on these now. I shouldn't need too much braking torque for the rotor. But I do need inertia tensioner on for all of them. At least the pistons don't need braking torque. I didn't set this one up. Five hundred, probably not enough, but it's a starting point. Convoy dispatched. Delivery two two three eight zero. Oh, I so wish I'd get the power cells. Ugh, that would be a nice shipment to get. Oh well, I could kiss that one goodbye as long as I'm like this. According to the mod, the convoys will get beefier as I attack them. So far I haven't seen any changes. They've just been single hovercrafts each time. I think the crane's set up. It looks good. All right, let's get this foot locked down. I will need to rotate the crane a little bit. I 
maybe extend this out a bit further. Or... Uh, no, I, I think I have enough room to... Well, I don't know if I have enough room to spin this. I'd like to get it at least a little straighter. Oh! That's right, I need to weld these up a little bit. Give them a little extra strength. I don't need it snapping in a weird spot. That would be disastrous if these broke. It should be good. I it should be, yeah. It should be good enough with just the plate, because there I have plenty of plate, and if those get damaged, I could just weld it up more. Don't want to do the large steel tubes as much as possible, and I do not want that on auto lock. A sandstorm is starting. Yep. Oi. The storm frequency on this scenario is just insane. At least the lightning can't hurt me. Trying to figure out what I'm doing on this. Okay. I do have the zero facing the direct, correct direction, so there's that. I got lucky on that one. I will save real quick. And. Let's start moving this thing. Oh, I should probably weld up the hinge parts. That's something I should probably do. <sighs> Energy low. Like I said, I don't need breaking in a weird spot. Get it welded, then I'll grab power. There it is. One more. And then I have to figure out how to get in here and get power. I went through the top last time, but would it be easier on the bottom? Yes. <sighs> I really hope that's set up right. I remember Splitsy saying you need breaking torque, but I don't remember how much breaking torque. If 500 is not enough, I'll crank it up. Let's see. I wish this could be in a better position, but I have to work with what I've got. I stuff something up. This crane foot's not gonna work. I need another hinge in here. Glad I caught it before I started doing 
the lockdown. Hold on, I actually do have parts for turrets if need be. It's like round down two of them. Well, technically, I blew up two of them. No, I shouldn't be thinking of turrets at this point. I only have 10 minutes left in this episode. I'm probably not gonna... I, there's... No, I'm not gonna have enough time to flip it. I can at least get it set up for the next episode, though. Get them named, get the breaking torque on, inertia tensioner. Oh, turn off the auto lock on the mag plate. Gonna hard to do that one. Ugh. I hope I didn't overcomplicate this thing to where it's gonna be not working. find out when I start dropping it off that block if I've got it right or not. My nerves are shot right now. Just just setting this up because I don't know if I've set it up correctly. Only way to find out is to lock it down and get it righted. If I was smart, I would get the crane in a better position. Because at this point, the crane's going to be working against me. Oops, wrong key. Which way is that spun around? Ugh. That is not in the right position. I've got that. Oh boy. I've got the rotor backwards, so I ain't fixing it. I'm just gonna deal with it. Besides, that's only if I was going to set limits on these things. Since I'm not setting limits, I don't need to do it. And that is nowhere near the ground. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to lock. It's not gonna work. That's just gonna get it out of weird. I'm trying to get it as the least weird position I can. This would be easier if I had more experience with this type of crane. Well. 
I won't be getting that power cell convoy. Not unless the convoys all stack up at headquarters. But given that I'm having trouble with just the convoys, I don't have the means to take on one of the bases yet. Though if I did take out a base first, it would be the air base on top of Olymp Olympus Mons. Hmm. Given how tall that one mountain is, it would get me the closest to escaping the planet. Regardless, I would need to get rid of that airbase first to make any escape attempt that way. I don't even have hydrogen thrusters yet. Everything I've seen has been atmospheric. All right, locked down. Ooh. Um, let me strengthen these hinges. Because I'm glad the uh, piston broke the fall. Want to crank it up all the way? Yeah, I'll crank it up all the way. I don't want to mess up on this anymore. Not sure if. Well, actually, it possibly could go up higher. I don't know the limit on these things. But. 251 kilonewtons seems pretty strong to me. Come on, get the hinge. There it is. Alright. Oh, I should probably increase braking torque as well. Go up to 500 kilonewtons. Hopefully this is strong enough. <sighs> Alright. I think I'm ready to start taking out that piston. And these blocks, because they're in the way. Ooh, it did drop a little bit more, but it stopped. these go up any higher? Yes. 125 mega newtons is where they peak out at. Nope, oh, that's the radial menu. Cranking braking torque to its maximum. I'm almost out of time on this episode. I wish I had time to flip it, but at the most, I'm just going to have the crane set up. I'm still worried about the weight distribution inside Endeavor. I may have to fix that if this just doesn't work. But I don't need these any longer. Energy low. Ooh. Yeah, it's still rear heavy. Well, that's going to be about it for this episode. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I need to close that door before I jump in because I'll fall straight through. Uh, tell your friends.
once I get in this seat, if I could get in this seat, no, not working. Well, at any rate, I'll see you next time. Bye. And close.